everyone and welcome. This is Melissa with the Stock Swiss Show and I'm here today to go over the staples play of the day. Like this, love this, did it, didn't do anything wrong here, stay with the trade and I'm done. I'm all out. My day is over. My week is over. It's 1156 on Friday afternoon and I really don't think it's something that people should be trading Friday afternoon anyways unless you're in something that's just falling like a rock and you just want to stay with it. Staples work today as a short. It's not falling like a rock. If I hadn't had the exact entry and perfect, perfect position size I did, then I wouldn't have made as much money as I did today in this. So I'm really proud of myself because I did a good job and I played it right. However, uh, this was skill. This is real skill today. People say, what sets me apart? I'll tell you what sets me apart right here. This. So I like the gap in Staples today a lot. I really, really liked it. It opened it rallying. Here's the short, and then it did this. Woo! And now pretend you don't see this. <clears throat> so I'm short this, and all of a sudden this happens. So somebody tried to buy this here, or that would not have happened, because that was a big bar, and it had the volume, and it had the red bar, then it had the green bar, and it sandwiched itself in after the rally. But I had to stop at the right place, and luckily I knew where that was, because it actually went over the high, and I stayed in the trade, and then I took more, and then it dropped and broke. But if you don't know how to do this, you might kill the trade as a short or flip it and go long. And then you get stopped out on the long and you kill the short and then you try to short again later and then it doesn't go anywhere. I mean, it's a mess unless you know what to do, which I do. This is what sets me apart here, this, this kind of thing here to know actually how to take the trade, which is a short. So nice move on staples here today for the morning period. I didn't expect this to go hog wild today. I didn't expect it at all. And after I saw the open, I said, whoa, mm, dream target off. But I was looking for realistic targets. And this still could have some more move in it today, but I'm all out. I'm not going to sit all afternoon and for four hours and something to get, get a little bit more out of something. It's because it's Friday. Uh, however, this was a nice trade this morning. A nice trade, good money booked, happy with the day, had the ad, played it perfectly, great entry on my part. It's all about getting the right pick and the timing, the right pick and the timing, and the right directional bias. Obviously, you have to be able to know which you're going long or short, and Staples is a short. So nice gap in Staples today. I played it very well, and, and the week was a very unusual week. It was a weird week. It was a positive week. It was a good week. It was just strange because, like, for example, even this, I thought this would have more follow-through. It didn't. But luckily, I played it very accurately. The market's very, very sloppy and choppy today. That isn't helping this or anything. But it was a weird week in reference to the market this week. Why? Because the market didn't follow through higher, but it's going to. And it's so clear to me that it's going to. And I do think that affected a lot of things this week. It affected longs and shorts, meaning everything is kind of in this holding waiting period because of the market. Like shorts will follow through and do their thing once the market just breaks higher and does its thing. And same thing with longs. So... You know, it's a, it, this is just, the, the, weird, the week was a weird week off the start of the month of March because the market is in this positioning where it's going to go higher. It hasn't done it yet. And so I think a lot of things didn't have the full-on muster and bluster that they could have this week because people are, like, waiting on the market. A&F was the big, 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 big winner this week, though. And I can do another video on that maybe later today. Uh, but I... I've, this week was a good week in the room, and for me, because of me, because of my level of accuracy in reading charts, because I picked the right thing every day, had the right entry every day, had a good exit every day, and just played it very, very well and very professionally. I do think the longer that you trade, you should get better. If you're trading for a long time and you're not getting better and making more money, then you're doing something wrong. Uh, when people tell me they're trading for a long time, it doesn't really mean a whole lot to me, because if you're trading for a long time and you're not making money or you're not getting better, then you have to change what you're doing. You're curve, your equity curve when you trade, and your knowledge base level should both be going up as time goes on. But a lot of times what happens is people uh, trade longer and, they and their equity curve goes down. And their knowledge base may be, they may think their knowledge base is going up. But if their equity curve is going down and their knowledge base they think is going up, then it's not coordinated because it shouldn't be that way. If your knowledge base is going up and you're a good trader, you should be making money. As time goes on, you should make more. So if you'd like to learn how to train, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.
Again, this is common sense. Common sense is my gap rating method, the 26-point rating system. I'm looking for the stocks to trade each day, whether long or short, and the best rated gap. It's common sense because I'm looking for institutional positioning in the chart. It's common sense because I'm looking at the bigger picture of the day chart to make the decision for what stock pick, and I'm getting the entry on the one-minute chart as a day trader because I'm a day trader in a flat at the end of each day. And again, common sense, think about what I'm saying for those of you that are out there that uh, are trading for a long time and you're not positive. Common sense says the longer you trade, the more money you should be making. Your equity curve should be going up in your P&L and your account, not down. And if it's flat line, you're still not getting anywhere either because you're wasting your time and time is very valuable. And the Staples is rallying here now, but I'm all out. Could it set up again? Yeah, I could, but you'd be taking a trade at 2 o'clock on a Friday afternoon and that's just not my thing. Have a great weekend, everyone. Still some spots left. If you want to sign up for the Golden Gap course, today is the last day, though. March 7th and 8th, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com to sign up. Have a great weekend, everyone.